Hey elites, it's Steve and I got to I got to tell you I miss seeing you guys. It's been um 2 weeks since I've done a video. If you watched my video on how to deal with stress where I talked about my sister-in-law, well the last 2 weeks haven't been too too good. So, um I'm doing a video tonight cuz I'm trying to get back some normalcy in my world and um so here I go with some more videos. So today I wanted to do a video for people, you know, what do you do if you can't do a push-up? And there's a lot of great, great videos on YouTube on, on how to do um, different push-ups and stuff. But what about those who get lost in the idea that they can't even do a push-up? And it could be for so many reasons. You could be, you could lack the, the core strength. You could be, um, you could be overweight. You could be obese. Um, you could be just afraid to work out because it's too intimidating. And so I created a routine to develop chest strength, arm strength, core strength with just using a chair and a towel. And you're going to fold the towel like this and put it down so you have something for support, excuse me, for your knees. And, um, so this this is a really good routine. Now the thing is is that there's different stages of this routine and just do what you can do then you're going to take a day off and then the next following day you'll do it you'll do it again. Now even even if you're only doing you can only do two reps and you're only doing three sets with two reps. That's okay. The, see the reason why people quit and working out is they have such huge expectations and they and they want things right now and that's not how it's going to be you just you, if you just give yourself a break and take it slowly and, and you know on your phone in your notes put put down what you've done each time and then collect start collecting these workouts that you do then you'll stick with it if you just try to do all this all at once or rush it and stuff then you're just going to you're just going to not going to work out so let's do the routine. So what you want to do first off before I do this is make sure the chair is against a wall or but yeah, against a couch. I have weights behind the chair because you don't, during the routine, you don't want the chair to be shooting forward and that's not what you want. The next thing you want to do, you just want to sit down so you're sitting uh, you know, on the back of your ankles and I apologize I can't get everything in the shot but um, so just sit down and then as far as distance from the chair it's a distance where your arms you, you stand you know you got great posture like this and you just put your arms out like that with your thumbs facing each other just like this and the, what the movement's going to be is it's going to be a movement that's going to involve um, when you do the movement is flexing also you're going to be flexing your bicep flexing your tricep so it looks just like this and you're going to come down like this just like that now when you're coming down you want your elbows to go right to your sides just like that and the point when you stop is when your forearm hits your bicep like this so it looks just like this and at this point right here here is when you're going to squeeze your bicep. So it looks like this. Come down, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five. You know, do a count of five, and then you're gonna come up like this, and then you're gonna have the inside of your arms into each other and squeeze your tricep, one, two, three, four, five. And you wanna try to do this, you wanna try to do this five times. It'll look like this. You're gonna come down, Squeeze the bicep, one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna come up, squeeze the tricep, one, two, three, four, five. If you can only do two, like I said, take a 60 minute rest in between, it's okay. But you wanna to try to get to five, uh, five reps and then three sets of the five. And once you've mastered that and you can do it successfully, then what you're going to do is you're going to progress to eight eight reps. You're going to come down, 
one, two, three, four, five, come up, one, two, three, four, five. Now once that becomes easy, so that's that's just the first stage. The next stage is when you're gonna have a, you're gonna have an isometric hold in here. And when you do the exercise, see I have to turn my head to talk to the camera, but you want to keep you know really good posture looking forward. So this is the next step. And you're gonna try to get to five reps, three sets. It looks just like this. You're going to come down halfway and you're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Come down, squeeze the bicep, one, two, three, four, five. Come up, squeeze the tricep, one, two, three, four, five. Do it again. Halfway, count one, two, three, four, five. Down, squeeze bicep, one, two, three, four, five. Come up, tricep, one, two, three, four, five. And by, you know, it's the muscle under tension, so by flexing the muscle, it's just such a great way to, you know, to burn calories and to, and to work the muscle. All right, so stage two is having an isometric hold. Try to get to um, five reps, three sets, then try to, and then get to um, eight. So once you're able to do that, and you've gotten to the next stage, you want to now try to incorporate a core exercise in your routine, whether you're doing stage one or stage two. And this is how it looks like. Same distance, but you're going to put your arms like this, and you're going to sit up like that. But as you sit up, I want you to pull in your stomach, and you're going to hold. So you're going to come up like this. Pull in the stomach, one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to come down. And you want to do that same thing. Five reps, three sets, and eight. And you can do a superset by doing, um, by doing one like this. And you hold, squeeze like that, come up, and go like that as a superset. That's like the advanced version, but um, you can do so, there's just so many variations. All right, so you finish stage one, you finish stage two. So let me show you with the core, the different stages of the core. So once you go this distance, then what I want you to do is just go one hand out, you both hands out like this, and then come up like this, and then pull in the stomach, one, two, three, four, five, and then come down. And as you get stronger, you're going to be able to go further out. And a really fun routine to do is, is within the, the, the um, reps, you start off like this, you come up, you squeeze the stomach in, one, two, three, four, five, come down, next step, come up, one, two, three, four, five, down, next, one, two, three, four, five, down, four, one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to keep on shooting out and coming up and squeezing in your stomach, and you'll find at the very end, when you're coming up, your entire core will be shaking, and on the very last one, when your elbow's not touching the chair, you're coming up, that's extremely hard. So, the advanced version of this whole routine would be like this. You got good form. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze biceps. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. One, two, three, four, five. Straight up like this. Like that. You're going to come down, go forward, and then come up. One, two, three, four, five. And then come down. So that would be the complete, you know, advanced version of the entire exercise. And, you know, and just have fun with it. And there's just different levels for you to choose from. Um, obviously, I just showed you all the way till the end. But this, this whole routine, you know, could actually take you, it could actually take you a couple of months to progress to the, to the very end. Um, I hope this helped you. You know, send me um, a message in the comments below if this helped and, 
If you want to get a hold of me, I'm on Instagram. I've had some amazing experience with people from the Philippines and Australia, Central America, Brazil. You know, they've sent me before and afters of what they look like when they're doing my exercises on YouTube. It's just Elite Fitness with Steve. Just do underscores after after each word. And if you want to send me a snap, I have a lot of followers on Snapchat. They'll ask me a ton of questions. It's SFL2211. So I hope you like this video. Hit like if you like and subscribe. And I will see you real soon. I'll see you next week on Tip Tuesday where I explain about overtraining. Take care. Peace.